Hey guys and welcome! Today on ATPL Theory we're going to be talking about stability. Now there are two types of stability, static and dynamic. Static is the initial tendency of the aircraft after an upset and dynamic is what it does over time. Now in this one diagram I've tried to show everything, I hope it makes sense. Let's consider an example where an aircraft is flying along and suddenly a gust of wind, in this case I've drawn it coming from below, upsets the aircraft Initially, of course, in this example, it's going to tend to pitch up. Now, before we move on, it's important to note that this works on any axis of movement. So any upset, it doesn't matter if it's tilting the wings, pitching up, pitching down, doesn't matter. The same static and dynamic stability principles will apply to that. In this case, the wind has caused a nose up upset. Now, the static stability is the initial tendency of the aircraft, so what will it do next after the upset initially? Positive or stable, depending on where you read it, if we have positive static stability, the initial tendency of the aircraft is going to be to pitch back down in this case. If it pitched down initially, it would be to pitch up. If it has neutral static stability, the initial tendency of the aircraft will be to stay where it was left. So after the upset, if it was left nose up, it would continue in that nose up attitude until it was disturbed again or pilot input corrected it. And if it had negative static stability, it would overemphasize that disruption. So in this case, it would pitch nose up and it would keep pitching up, keep pitching up. So these are the three types of stability the aircraft can encounter initially. What does the type of stability depend on? Essentially, how the aircraft has been designed, nothing else. Some aircraft are designed to be inherently unstable, such as fighter jets. Some aircraft are designed to be inherently more stable like your Cessna, which is virtually impossible to store. So, after time is what we call dynamic stability. As you can see from the graph here, there is only one line that progresses into the dynamic part of the graph, and that is the positive static stability line. All the others don't get over there. So, for it to be dynamically stable in any of the three states, it must be positively statically stable. In this first example, the aircraft has positive static stability, so it has an initial tendency to come back, and let's say it has positive dynamic stability, in which case it will pitch down initially to counteract the pitch up, then it will pitch back up, pitch back down, and the oscillations will get smaller and smaller till it by itself comes back onto its original flight path and level. The oscillations will get smaller over time. Now, if it had positive static stability and neutral dynamic stability, the oscillations would stay the same. There's no inherent tendency to correct itself over time. However, the initial tendency to counteract the disturbance is still there. So initially it would pitch down, then it would pitch back up, pitch back down, pitch back up, and just continue like this forever with the same oscillation. So it, it would just continue oscillating up and down not getting any worse, but not getting any better. The last one, the worst case, would be if we had positive static stability, but negative dynamic stability. Now in this case, the initial tendency is of course to counteract that disturbance. So it's going to initially pitch down, however because it's dynamically unstable, or negative dynamic stability, the oscillations get larger over time. So it will pitch back up, it will counteract itself, pitch back down, however, because it's dynamically unstable, the oscillations are going to get bigger over time, bigger and bigger, and the altitude changes are going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. I hope that made sense. So for an aircraft to possess positive, neutral, or negative dynamic stability, it must have positive static stability. Otherwise, it never gets to that second part of the graph. You can see the lines diverge away from that timeline, and we cannot have dynamic stability of any sort if it's neutrally statically stable or negatively statically stable. Depending on where you're studying from, you might see stable or positive or unstable or negative. They mean the same thing. Sometimes you see statically stable or you see positive static stability. If you'd like to see more of these videos, please like, share and subscribe. Comment below if you have any ideas for future videos. All the best and until next time.